गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू हाव आर यू ऑल कुछ जाने पहचाने चेहरे पे दिख रहे हैं मुझे ओके कंग्रेचुलेशन टू दोज हुव क्वालिफाइड द मेन्स एंड मेड इट टू द लिस्ट फॉर यू पी एस सी पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ओके पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट इज द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ यू पी एस सी एंड इज पार्ट ऑफ विजन आई एस पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम वी हैव अरेंज द सेशन to guide you about what kind of personality traits you should possess as a civil servant okay personality test is done by upsc to assess a candidate on various parameters like mental alertness balanced judgment um integrity morality etc in order to inculcate these traits we must understand their meaning and to help us understand the same we have amongst us shri sushil chandra sir sir is a former ips officer having a vast experience in tax administration serving as the chairman of central board of direct taxes and sir later on went to head the election commission of india so i hope now if anybody ask you a question about election commission of india after this session you will be able to answer it now without further delay with immense gratitude i invite shri sushil chandra sir to share his experience with us all your doubts will be and uh, will be addressed towards the end of the session so let's have a huge round of applause for shri sushil chandra sir good afternoon to all of you <coughs> my dear faculty members around here and most valuable the students around here who are here in this afternoon and it is always a pleasure to meet the youngsters and i always feel that if you energize the youngsters i think you can change the frame of india all together i will also congratulate to all of you who have qualified prelims and the main exams and almost you are very near to your goal which you must have dreamt about and naturally it is a very tough examination and uh, you have come out all together passing through two exams so now you are very near to your goals actually and at this time i think there is a need that you should definitely cross the line so i thought that whatever i can contribute to you and in your preparations which we can we are doing at the moment i think it should help you for getting yourself prepared because now this is the only last hurdle which you have to pass i can tell you that it is the personality test is uh, is absolutely you have to prepare nothing for it your personality is already existing only you have to tell what you are so there should be no tension no anxiety no fear as far as the interview is concerned people have made it a very different way interview test and sometimes even on my whatsapp i see or in instagram is question is like this can anybody answer in the group and i found that these questions are never asked and they are never asked by any is any is board so it is the person's imagination that it is very tough challenging and very tough thing which you are going to face it is not like that the interview board which is consisted of <coughs> very senior bureaucrats sometimes professors sometimes persons from different fields they are very experienced person and they want to you know elicit from you the best out of you they are not there to harass you at all they want to make that atmosphere so good that the person can tell in any language anywhere in any manner but he should be in a position to tell what he knows <clears throat> and after all as you know that this country is very wide the country is of 140 crore persons very different culture very different ethos very different religion after every 200 kilometers we are having a different language and you are going to be the part of that bureaucracy so every employer would like to fit that how a person should be selected which can fit into this particular atmosphere and for that they simply want 
to have a discussion with you like even before marriage you would like to meet your partner and say we should meet two three times let us decide then you ask your son okay okay give me more time let me see about it then he decides about it so similarly upsc the government of india would also like that they should have some chat with you after all you are your decisions are going to affect 140 crore persons of this country in any capacity whichever stream you join whether ias whether ips whether irs whether account service whether railway service any service you join you are going to affect 140 crore persons of this country so what is required to be seen in you employer would like to see that what are the traits whether they are fitting into my bill or not though in spite of the fact that you have completed all your studies and all and you have been there your subject matter has been tested already that is very clear there's nothing that we are going to the board is going to ask about a subject generally because that particular thing has been tested so now you are being called for something different for which you need not to have any preparation only thing what are the traits as to how your answer should sync with the desire desirability of a candidate for that interview and why this particular interview has been you know taken such a seriousness that until unless you are fit into that particular way you may be a very good engineer you may be very good doctor so ultimately it is your the employer's need the government of india wants what type of a person you are how can you give the best administration this country is you know jumping in all directions is going in economically very fast this is a very growing country everybody knows in the world so how can we do that what is required in you and what are the searching in you so if my answers can be into sync with that particular philosophy with that particular desires with that particular thing in the mind of the employer then i think that is the only thing which you require during this period of preparation so what are the qualities which uh, the board is looking for and and how can you impress the board that you possess those qualities so some persons have got qualities but it is difficult to express them i have seen in various interview boards and we try to find out that he should come out or she should come out of that she knows but she is not able to come out so that is always a try of any interview board and especially i have seen that it is the best interview boards which are made in the upsc i have seen as a as a participant at as, at your age that how the interviews are taken into different places then as a part of the interview board and i found <coughs> that the system of upsc is very good across you know languages across streams because persons are from a different streams i am very sure that some are engineers some are from sociology some are from english background some are from hindi background some are from different field doctors because i found in various services who to whom i have addressed that 70% are engineers 10% are doctors some are economists some are this thing so how we can train you later on how can you fit into this total bureaucracy of india that is the most important challenge before any interview board also it is not the challenge for you also it is a challenge for the interview board also so what are the basic tenets of the qualities and which you start possessing which you start developing right from childhood some becomes a school captain in any class some becomes monitor some sits on the last seat some are introvert it does not mean that they don't have those qualities some are introvert but they are very genius so from all fields only thing that you have to tell the board in your communication that what you are and what you should be and what we want so the first quality which comes to my mind <coughs> which they look forward is the leadership qualities because you have to be leader how suppose you are a district head of a in any after the service you are in a police you are in is you are in income tax you are customs but you are a leader to certain persons it is you are being inducted at a very high level in the bureaucracy aap se niche bahut log hain wahan pe jinko aapko lead karna hai 
So what is your style of functioning? Whether you are a bossy leader, whether you are a participative leader, whether you are an ignorant leader, whether you are a redundant leader, whatever leader you are. And to my mind, the best leadership is a more participative. Your answer should be synchronized with that thing. It is not that that I have become a district magistrate now. So whatever I say that has to be done right up to the board. Or I have a SP of this district, whatever I say that has to be done. Because those persons who are below you are already working there. They have also got experiences. And you have to get the work done from them. It is not that every work you can do. So it has to be more participative. And that can be done only when you are very confident about the whole issue. So if you do not know the subject, you can't be confident. Then what do you do? You say, you don't have to do it. You 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 have to do it. Ultimately, it is you who have to be the master of your subject. You can be a good leader only when you are master of the subject. Otherwise, if you are not the master of your subject, how can you tell others how to do it? So wherever you are, and now how, how will we judge the master of subject up hai or nahi hai? So in interview, how do we start actually? We start with your DAF, which was gives to us generally. And they make you so easy and pleasant in sitting, they start with that. So and so, okay, you are coming from that town. How is that town? How do you like? What the thing which you like about that? I have seen your hobbies are there. So what do you know? What are you doing in your hobbies? So the whole interview would like bold to make you very comfortable, so that you are not having that anxiety. First of all, because when you are sitting outside in the room waiting for your turn to come, because in the morning then the six persons are called in thirty minutes each. You are sitting in a room and you are asking the first person, वो चला गया निकल गया भाई हमारा रह गया और जिसका नंबर छठा होता है वो बहुत बेचारे anxious और anxious रहता है कि पता नहीं मेरा क्या होना है and sometimes उससे कम question पूछे जाते हैं और बड़े crisp question पूछे जाते हैं so number one you should not have anxiety in interview because they make you absolutely you know pleasant atmosphere so first of all you should in your mind feel that whatever you are going to speak it should be absolutely come it should come out from your heart from your accumulated experiences from your very peaceful thinking process you should not be in hurry to tell anything if they are speaking just give a pause think about it it is not that uh, the last sentence khatam nahi hua word and you started speaking you might be knowing it very well but it should appear that you are giving your thought you have understood the problem then only you are giving the answers so the leadership trait will come first in my mind because you have to lead the team and you have to fit into the team spirit also when beside your seniors whenever the discussions are being held then you are a part of that team which is junior officers so how you fit into that team spirit also some persons are so obstinate that they don't fit into the team properly so we do not want those persons who are not fitting into but they can do anything in any you know setup whether it is a bureaucratic setup or it is <coughs> non bureaucratic setup or an engineering setup any setup so you should have a dual role how to be a good team member and how can be a team leader so both are two different things on one side you are telling them how to do a thing on the other side you are being a part of the team and then you are telling your views so that it should be fitting into the whole system and it is coming out properly this thing because as a leader you will be having a very diverse views of a persons very diverse thinking of the stakeholders suppose you are in a any administration if in a head there are different religion the different persons have come for a dispute and different thoughts will process will come so you will have to satisfy both you are you should be so you know impartial and neutral in your approach some questions will be posed to you by the interview board situational in that fashion that they will extract something from you and that will determine how the things are moving because i was in one of the board in any administrative service of a state so we just posed a question to that officer <coughs> the person who was there 
they don't you think that the government is too harsh on you they are asking you 24 hour government servant 24 hour government servant all the time you are busy why don't you think that you should be balanced in the life and you should be restricted to 10 to 12 hours at the most what are your views on that he immediately said yes sir definitely it is too much we should work only 8 hours a day that is in the labor law also so i said that uh, what if you uh, the, your boss does not agree with that then okay said we'll write back to the highest offices and you mobilize the persons so that it should not be more than 10 hours a day otherwise as told we are also having our family life so if that type of a person is there are you going to select him no so everybody across the board immediately said that how much the minimum mark which we can ascribe we should give it to that so he was trapped into his own question and by saying yes to that though we asked some other questions also so that at least if it is a by mistake he has been trapped so he can come out of that wriggle of uh, you know unionism and can come out but uh, he was bent of mind no 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 the government is excessive excesses are not done to anyone we should not do they are human rights so if that is the mindset no one is going to take you so you should have that type of a feeling आंसर भी आपका सिचुएशनल सिचुएशन आपको दी है जवाब आपसे पूछ रहे हैं तो आपके जवाब ऐसे होने चाहिए विच आर इज एब्सोलूटली सिंकिंग इन द गवर्नमेंट सेटअप विच इज अफेक्टिंग टू द हंड्रेड फोर्टी करोर्स पर्सन ऑफ दिस कंट्री एंड अल्टीमेटली इट इज द ब्यूरोक्रेसी विच डिटरमिन्स पॉलिटिशियंस कम फॉर फाइव ईयर्स एवरी टाइम यू आर एंड वी आर परमानेंट बिकॉज इन वन ऑफ द टाइम वेन आई वॉज चेयरमैन दैन सब मिनिस्टर कॉल्ड मी and asked me to do this thing sushil ji jara ye kar dijiye i told him that it is not possible and we should not be done and he said aap jante nahi hain hum to dekhiye 5 saal ke hain aur aap dekhiye kitne saal se yahan par ho aage bhi rahenge hum to chale jayenge to hame to ye ki kaam karana hai aap se ye kaam kar dijiye ab as a bureaucrat you should do only that thing which is as per law come what may so your again answer should be again to sync with government laws so your leader should be leadership style should be participative your answer should be sync with that particular thing and you should be in a position to take the diverse opinions of the persons and the most stakeholders can be satisfied you cannot satisfy everyone but most of the stakeholders can be satisfied with that so that leadership quality i would like that you should think about it you should see your panorama of 25 years i think all of you must be above around 25 22 or 23 years that how you have behaved in your classes in schools with your peers with your bosses with your teachers and how you have you can improve further while you are working on to that particular area a leader should also be visionary i would say that so that quality you should also think about yourself you have not to be bookish something new something vision because the questions will be thrown again back to you suppose you are a district magistrate of a most backward district of this country in which education level is almost 10 20% no facilities are there how you are going to develop that what are your views on that so you should be in a position to think as a visionary that how can i do and improve that that is why you are seeing that most of some of the children are coming from most backward areas of this country who are succeeding into ias examination because they are in a position to tell that how things can be changed to that area while the persons who are living in delhi or born in bombay or born in metros they even don't understand that particular thing that how dreaded life can be into northeast how dreaded life can be into the the hills areas because i have seen whole of india all part of india whether it is a union territory or a state or a village from all angles and i have really seen myself uh, that the diversity is in this country that if i see when i visited tihri garhwal and i saw i saw long back when i was in a village visit in, in is uh, training then when i saw that college which was you know giving pg college and in which i found that the instruments for the physics were of a lesser standard than which i passed in my intermediate college so i always used to think that how a person because a person is also passing from this college he is also postgraduate and 
a person who is also passing from St. Stephen's, how two persons can be equated before any competition? And how frustrated he will feel when he will go and mix with them? So how the education standard can be of a particular downtraded area, how in you know inaccessible areas, those things can be improved. I think you should put your mind into that because these types of questions are always asked. If you go to Manipur, if you go to Lakshadweep, if you go to Northeast where I saw when I was in Tawang Valley's base camp long back, <laughs> then I asked them, then they told me that these boys who have passed from here, they have not seen a train. Well, we will have to take them, I am thinking to show them train and uh, we will take them to a particular place from where we will show them the train. So in this country itself, such a heavy diversity is there. You should be quite aware about it because these are the things which are going to ask from you. They are not going to ask you about the, you know, Delhi, Bombay, or, there are already so many persons who take care of it. They are well self aside. Your bureaucracy's purpose is to how to develop the most interdeveloped areas. So how you are going to give a leadership in education, in, in the, the women's areas, in the women's children's education, and in other skilling development of areas. So these are the areas in which you should fix up your economic mindset as to how you are going to answer those questions. They should be absolutely in sync with the considering the diversity. You cannot think that uh, New Rajendra Nagar area is very developed and South Extension is also very good. Light, light electricity comes 24 hours, but it is always there. This country is absolutely fine. Oh, it is not fine. So how can we do that? So leadership qualities should, should match with the diversity of this country, with the persons who are having still unemployment. How are we going to grow in the economy of 5 trillion, which is the of the government? How we are fitting into this? And how the life of each and every person can be improved in this country? You are the thoughts which I am giving you. I am not saying that everybody will be asked the questions, but your mind should, you know, open up to the various things so that your answer can stimulate into that particular direction. <clears throat> and how can you give a different vision altogether? Because if you must have read the stories, that certain DMs have changed the story altogether of a district. I went to an election commission. We, we meet uh, all the DMs, all the SPs before conducting the elections. And, and it is our surprise when we, when we went to UP, there are 80 DMs, 80 SPs and we have meetings of all. Then the big challenge was that how the women should be included into the voters list. Because many ladies, they were not interested in sending their daughters into the voter list. And so what I told those persons earlier also that you should take initiative, you should take initiative. <coughs> then one DM stood, President Abad Vidalvaya, she was a lady officer. She said in my district, I have done a very different methodology and uh, I have interacted myself with various village women folks. Their question was that why should we enroll these girls into the voters list? Where we will go to the hospital, we will not do it. 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 Then DM assured them that where we will go, we will transfer your voter card to the hospital. We will not do it. 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 और ये बच्ची पढ़ी लिखी है वोटर लिस्ट है इसमें वोट का अधिकार है और ये मैं आपको गारंटी देती हूँ कि इसका वोटर मैं वहाँ पे ट्रांसफर कर दूँगी जहाँ भी जाएगी जिस ससुराल की जिस भी तहसील में जाएगी मैं ट्रांसफर करूँगी और ये मेरा नंबर है ये आप जब चाहें आ सकते हैं और उसने सारे ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर जो लेडीज़ थी उनको उन्हीं के लैंग्वेज में घर जा जा समझाने की प्रक्रिया शुरू की विद द रिजल्ट उस डिस्ट्रिक्ट में वेरी हाई परसेंटेज ऑफ वुमेन वोटर्स वॉज रजिस्टर्ड so out of 80 DMs, if one lady DM can do that, it means what was it? The message was same to all, instructions were same to all, but why one person excelled? Because she was a visionary. She could find out something new. Otherwise, she would have also asked from her counterpart, Kya bhai, tum kaise kar rahe ho? Well, yaar, wo ko de diya hai na, wo kar raha hai. To Thasilar ko to pichle 70 saal se kar hi raha tha. आज भी कर रहा है आगे भी करता रहेगा 
तो वो चार साठ परसेंट सत्तर परसेंट होता रहेगा दो परसेंट बढ़ गया हाथ खड़ा करके बोल दिया इलेक्शन कमीशन को कि साहब हमने तीन परसेंट बढ़ा दिया बहुत बढ़िया जाइए ये भी काम हो गया लेकिन जिसको जुनून है कि ये काम करना है वो आगे निकलेगा और वो आगे पहुंचेगा और तरीका ढूंढेगा किसी भी ब्यूरोक्रेट के लिए कोई भी स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर नहीं बनता प्राइवेट में हर जगह स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स होते हैं क्योंकि दे डोंट हैव फेथ इन यू दे विल मेक ए एसओपी फॉलो दिस एसओपी यू शुड नॉट फॉलो एस ओ पी यू आर आउट फॉलोइंग एस ओ पी मीन्स योर ब्रेन इज आउट आई ऑलवेज टेल टू माई सन इन लॉ बाई चांस यूज फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड एंड ही इज आई टी एन एंड हार्वर्ड ही डज लॉट ऑफ यू नो इन प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस वो प्राइवेट सर्विस में तो हमेशा मेरा उससे झगड़ा होता है कि नो ये एस ओ पी एस ओ पी एस ओ पी आई विज टेल यूम बाई पुटिंग एस ओ पी इन द प्लेस आई थिंक यू हैव कट डाउन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ एवरी ऑफिसर एस ओ पी इज गुड फॉर डाउन हु आर ओनली डूइंग यू नो मीनियल जॉब्स के टिक 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 पी वी आर में गए देखा बाथरूम साफ हो गया तीन बार चार बार पांच बार टिक हो गया बाथरूम इज क्लीन ओके बट फॉर एन ऑफिसर हाउ कैन यू पुट एस ओ पी एवरी पर्सन इज डिफरेंट माई प्रॉब्लम इज डिफरेंट विद एवरी ऑफिसर If I interact with Ajay, it will be different interaction. If I talk with her, then it will be different interaction. So I cannot make a SOP that you will talk five minutes. First question is this, second question is this, third question is this. No, it cannot be possible. So therefore, you have to be very, very inventive. You are not in any private service. You are into the government where every question is different, every person's problem is different, every district's problem is different. You don't know in which district you can land up, in which service you will land up, where you will land up. So you will have to be aware that why, how I can solve the person problem of the persons. And every person, every subject is a challenge in this country. This country is not US where population is so much. Here population is this much, country is so big. Economic status is less. Persons have got more problems. So challenges are much bigger, much bigger. When we discuss this problem in Wharton, when I was <coughs> having a training there in management, so when we told them that in government we cannot fire anyone. What are you talking? That if he does not do job, throw him out. If he does this, you promote him. When in the government, neither we can fire nor we can promote him out of that and unnecessarily. so give a solution what we can do so he said you can't fire you no know. then he says your big challenges are before you this is a very big challenge i think this has to be thought of so even in wharton which is the best management institute of the world he feels that in the bureaucracy there is something very different which we don't have a solution so here the solution will have to be given by you by the young minds by the young persons who are in the field and that is why this service is very important and that is why we want that young officers should come they can understand the challenges they can take the leadership roles and they can decide their future of 140 crore persons of this country so you should think into that mind and be a leading leaders be a compassionate leader if you do not have a compassion like dalai lama says if you want to be happy you practice compassion and if you want to make others happy you should also practice compassion so ultimately it is the compassion which make you happy which make others happy so the leader should be like that who can listen the persons aapke darwaze se koi vyakti jo aapko apni kuch cheez sunane aaya hai wapas na jaye but i can say with pride that in my career i have not left anybody unattended who has come to see me whether i have come at 9:30 in the house or 10 in the in the night but i have not left anybody ke main kal milunga main ja raha hu so that should be your thinking that is pro his problem should be your problem if anybody has come to you or if you have seen in your district in your area because you you are in different service you you are all together different from any person you should feel that you are different only then you can give a different solution i am not saying that you have become arrogant but the solution oriented thing sure is solution oriented leadership it is not that leadership in which i am a bossy style i said i am going to play golf 
and I'll come after five or five hours. Till that time, the whole country is fine. This used to be used to be the culture in beginning, but now this culture is nowhere in this country at all, and that is why Prime Minister himself has taken the meetings with the young DMs, with the young officers, with the youngsters everywhere. He puts three days in Kavadia where the meetings are held. So only to change your mindset. It is not that you are becoming sahab. और ब्राउनी साहब और साहब मैं बताऊं मतलब एक्सपीरियंस है इस तरह का एक दिन मैंने जब शुरू शुरू की बात है जब हम लोग ज्वाइन किए थे सर्विस <coughs> किसी बैचमेट को फ़ोन किया आई विल नॉट नेम द कैडर बिकॉज इन कल्चर यहाँ पे कई कई कैडर्स में बड़ी कल्चर अजीब अजीब कर रही कल्चर है कहीं शाही कल्चर है कहीं वर्क ओरिएटेड कल्चर है तो आई आज के भाई जनरल फ़ोन मिलाया कि बात कराओ साहब कुशल फरमा रहे हैं अच्छा थोड़ी देर बाद फ़ोन किया साहब शहर के दौरे पर निकले हुए हैं तो फिर मैंने कहा कि मैम साहब से बात कराओ उन्होंने कहा कौन बोल रहे हैं ये बोल रहे हैं मैंने कहा है भाई कुछ नहीं अखबार पढ़ रहे हैं तो मैंने तुम्हारे आदमी क्या बोल रहे हैं बैठे बैठे गुजर फरमा रहे हैं शहर फरमा रहे हैं गोल्फ खेलने जा रहे हैं और तुम्हारा क्या तमाशा हो रखा है ये सो दैट वॉज ए कल्चर इन वन ऑफ द प्लेस इन एटीज आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ बट नाउ इट इज नॉट देयर and it was not in other states also i have worked in five six states in different capacities so i have seen that also changes from state to state so we are there to serve the person we are served to human being we are served to the person who are down trodden so your leadership style will have to into that direction and second quality which is very important other quality comes into that framework only which i am talking is the administrative skills what is meaning the administrative skills and how are they different from leadership i am a leader whatever i have said is administration is it kyun bhai batao aisa hai kya nahi hai na to kuch different hai kya difference hai meri administrative skills kya honi chahiye i am an administrator i have been given some set of rules by the constitution and constitution gives me the basic tenets at the preamble that the equality justice fraternity fraternity to everyone so i will have to develop my administrative skill in consonance with constitution and your total ideology should revolve around the constitution if anybody has not read the constitution please try to understand the basic tenets ultimately your administration will have to sync with the constitution your all decisions are being seen by everyone you are a neutral you are a different person all together you belong to place a up you have been posted in arunachal nobody knows you no you know you does not know anyone you don't know anyone neither anybody knows you but your decisions when you come out in the public life you will be known by them ye saab inhone bada acha kaam kiya hai hamare ko dekhe koi jaanta nahi tha phir bhi hame sara nyay mil gaya phir bhi hame ye cheez mil gayi so your thinking process should sync with that particular tenets the preamble of the constitution if not the whole constitution at least go with the preamble of the constitution that is your basic set of rules that is the mother of all rules as far as the bureaucrats are concerned at least your conscience should be clear that i have done my duty i have done justice as per the constitution so you should develop that administrative skills which sync with constitution and second tenets into this is with the government's directives with the government's desires with the government's policies if government wants to increase a better participation of the public into suppose jan jal jal shakti abhiyan government wants to put better roads government wants to to put a better hospitals if your funds have come for that and you say no no i am i'm just bothered about it i don't have time for this let me see some other thing on to this area you are maybe doing something other into that area but you have forgotten the government policy at that particular point of time 
so in the government i you are not a good officer because whatever targets were given to you whatever policy thrift has been given to you that you are missing all together sometimes even we don't like certain policies then what should we do there can be some confrontation of your ideology yourself and then the policies of the government which are being asked to do that but ultimately we are the government servant we have to follow the government dictates we cannot go beyond the government but there should be in overall situations there should not be you know private uh, benefit to anyone but if it is a policy of the government then we should move into that direction and we should do that administration properly so until unless an administrator is having in mind the constitutional values of this country and the government policies in his mind he cannot administer correctly this is not your own law that you can decide whatever you like you can solve the problem but broadly into the basic framework of a person and ultimately in the administration it is the public welfare which should be absolutely sink in your mind that you are made for that public welfare the public grievance system and public grievance you should always think of it public is most important only this prime minister put a portal i think you must have heard about it if not then i can tell you that <coughs> since this government took over in 2014 <coughs> they put a public grievance portal under the prime minister earlier used to be every ministry used to have his own grievance grievance i nobody bothered kar diya bhej diya compliance ho gaya he developed a portal in which he used to see himself the grievances of various department and he publicized that that anybody who will has any problem with government please put up on pragati this thing and grievance portal i will see myself persons thought yaar prime minister ke paas kya time hai grievance dekhne ka aap bataiye itna busy aadmi ke aapka wahan pe sadak nahi bani wo dekhega baith ke ya aapka khana nahi mila to wo dekhega but you will surprise to know he put an officer and every month he used to take a meeting of the head of the department suppose if it is income tax and the chairman income tax will be sitting there if it is a bank problem the bank secretary will be there if it is a problem of a pwd the pwd head will be there and he used to take a meeting of 2 or 3 hours that mr so and so tell me why there are 3000 complaints in your department and what is the position and why they are still there what you have learned from them how the systems have been modified so that more 3000 people should not come it is not a question of redressal of the grievances wo to karoge hi karoge aap system mein kya modification karo jaise aage ki grievance na hai public ki and he assured itself that the all department become sensitive to the persons and on the second inning he said it is not a question ki aapki uh, grievance redressal ho gayi nahi ho gayi your officer should ask him that what was his experience in grievance addressal when our officers interacted with those person ke bhai aapki grievance dur ho gayi aapko kaisa lag raha hai he said very clearly because you will see the you know remarks of the person ki abhi tak to kisi ne parwa kari nahi ji ab pm saab ne kaha hai tab aap bhi sun rahe hain aur humse pooch bhi rahe hain system sudhariye tab system sahi hoga to ye har level ki baat hai जब आप किसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट के हेड हो किसी भी डिपार्टमेंट में हो क्योंकि कोई सा भी डिपार्टमेंट मिले आपको इट इज मटेरियल आपको क्या सर्विस मिलती है इन एनी सर्विस विल बी हैविंग सर्टेन थिंग्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द पब्लिक सो द पब्लिक विल हैव टू बी इन फोकस द पब्लिक वेलफेयर विल हैव टू बी इन द फोकस एंड द पर्सन हु लिसन टू द पब्लिक दे आर ऑलवेज अप्रिशिएटेड एंड दे आर विल गिव यू सेंस ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस सेंस ऑफ हैप्पीनेस बिकॉज वाई वी आर चूज इन सर्विस नंबर वन यू टेल मी दिस थिंग you many persons get much more salary outside the service i still remember when i was commissioner international tax and international tax was absolutely a new area in this country and i worked for 5 years there then many private company approached me or big force whichever you call that that whatever is salary you offer you tell we will give you that salary you join us because there was a lot of scope international taxation i said no i have to serve the government only nowhere else i want to go similarly in engineering when i joined first service as engineering services central engineering services 
then also there were some offers i said no i have to serve only the government i know the salary is very less but the satisfaction is immense because you are touching the life of 140 crores there is something in you who can solve the problem of somebody else for which is languishing you you feel so good when you listen somebody that uh, if you are you know in your office and somebody is coming whose problems for last 20 years not solved and you have solved that problem maybe very small problem you feel feel satisfied that i could solve the problem of this person all together so that satisfaction absolutely means so in your administrative skills it is should be the public centric it should be the for the welfare of the public it should be for the grievances of the public and how can we improve the life of persons because whenever an officer goes like i was going on to that day in noida <coughs> noida was looking very clean so roads are very good unlike a year before so i asked somebody on the meri aadat hai ki main सड़क वाले लोगों से पूछ लेता हूँ पहले भी पूछ लेता था चल के अनोन बन के कि भाई ये आजकल बड़ा सड़क बड़क साफ हो गया है तुम्हारा नोएडा का कैसा है क्या चल रहा है ये सैट के सर वो एक नई लेडी आई है यहाँ पे वो अथॉरिटी में वो सुबह सुबह आठ बजे आ जाती हैं मैडम यहाँ पे और पूरा चेक करती हैं और किसी की मजाल खराब कर दे वरना वो उसको सस्पेंड कर देंगी बाई चांस आफ्टर टू थ्री डेज कोई पार्टी थी उसमें That uh, chairman of that authority had also come with you, so I asked her. I said, "Okay, there's a lot of appreciation for you." Only how, sir? I said, "Okay, I just inquire from the road itself. It is not from some officers." So one person can change the life because she went out of the way. Not ten o'clock in the office. She went eight o'clock. If it's cleaning time, is eight o'clock. She went at eight o'clock. Saw in what is happening on the roads. You could make the life better to the persons. If a police officer goes incognito, sometimes find out what is happening, and he can improve the life of the person, the law and order becomes situation becomes better, things become better. If a tax authority goes and catches hold of the big persons by becoming spies or something like, then it is good in the eyes of person that it was a black money which he has caught for it. So this you will have to be ready for those things, and you have to find out definitely innovative method of administration. that how can be improved you have to think and you have you can think only when you become that person who is who is a less privileged who is affected how we can do that and one more area which is like that the innovations innovative solutions will have to be given to by you innovations will have to come because you have to be ready for very unprecedented thing which has never been heard had been done the new things will come innovations in existing systems and be ready for any future challenges also so how can we change the system many officers have changed the systems all together and make the life better so in your mind you should always think how can i change it in interview if a question is posed to you you can think why first of all you think that after 70 years of into 75 years of independence why there is no water to every citizen in this country why I used to think when I was of your age that इतने सालों के पचास साल के बाद हम पानी नहीं पिला पा रहे इस कंट्री में इनको तो हमारा कैसा प्रशासन है हम अगर एक सबको पढ़ाई नहीं दे पा रहे हैं तो कैसा कैसा प्रशासन है मैं जब जाता था प्रौढ़ शिक्षा में जाता था बच पढ़ाने किसी गाँव शाँव में आई हैव गॉन टू वीरस विलेजेस एंड आई सो दैन आर एस टीचिंग ओल्ड लेडी शी टोल्ड मी भाई साहब आप हमें मत पढ़ाओ तो मैंने कहा भाई मैं आपको क्यों नहीं पढ़ाऊँ मुझे प्रौढ़ शिक्षा में पढ़ाने के लिए कहा है मेरी बच्ची को पढ़ा दो आप ये अनपढ़ ना रह जाए यू फील सो टच्ड गांव में है लालटन जल रही है मतलब आई स्टिल रिमेंबर दो सीन्स बिकॉज आई यूज टू गो माई सेल्फ वॉल्टियर इट इज नॉट दैट की समबडी आर सेंट मी देयर कि साहब मेरी बच्ची को पढ़ा दो ये बच्ची पढ़ जाएगी ना मेरी जिंदगी ठीक हो जाएगी मुझे लगेगा मेरी बच्ची तो कम से कम लिख पढ़ सकती है तो मैंने कहा आपको भी पढ़ाता हूँ बच्चे को भी पढ़ा देता हूँ दोनों को पढ़ा देता हूँ कोई दिक्कत नहीं है बेसिक चीज पढ़ने के लिए आदत होनी चाहिए सो वैन यू विल फील दैट दीज आर द थिंग्स ओनली देन यू कैन फाइंड सम सोल्यूशंस तो यू शुड सी द लाइफ समवेयर नियर टू दैट रीना ओनली देन यू कैन थिंक अबाउट इट एंड यू विल हैव टू बी प्रिपेयर फॉर एब्सोल्यूटली न्यू थिंग्स इन योर लाइफ दे वॉन्ट टू सी योर अप्रोच फॉर ए न्यू थिंग You have read so many things. You are reading. They are also putting lot of inputs to you. 
but some a new thing is given to you how you are going to react it how you are going to solve it how you are going to administer it so you have to think into those lines sitting on your legs ki kya karna hai they are never taught you will be prepared for these things in the academy you will be prepared that something new will come how will you handle it like covid came whether that joint secretary or secretary was told how to handle covid no we are in no studies not even doctor knew how to handle it but the strategies were made the persons worked overnight if you meet that joint secretary lav agarwal he uh was a child when i was an officer in that particular area so i know him since childhood so he told me sir puri puri raat i have passed for one week in the office only wahi nahaya hu wahi khana khaya wahi ka ghar hi nahi aaya hu but he was an engineer he developed that site how can we develop that site how can we have a capture the data all over the country and how can we decide that so your new thinking the interview board can pose a question before you ki bhukamp aa gaya pura gaon jad gaya kya karna chahiye kya karoge like happened in bhuj suddenly earthquake came and disaster the disaster and every family went off so you are the same guy who was handling in the office setting some complaints and setting making your office but suddenly you have to change your strategy certainly you have to think about something new and how to handle the crisis so those mindsets i think you have to put in your mind and mind is a very fertile thing whatever you put in solution will come only thing you have to put the right perspective right seeds in your mind if you put the right seeds you will get the right solution is a very good machine is better than any computer believe it and it gives you very good solutions so you should be ready for the new methodology the crisis management suppose there is a drought suppose there is a flood which is every year some part or the other but i remember one of my batchmates was a joint secretary in civil aviation when the plane was hijacked he remember that ic 184 kandhar le jaya gaya usse pehle hi hum log baithe baat bhi kar rahe the achanak unne kaha ruko ruko i have got something and after one hour i saw that he was on the tv that uh, it has been hijacked and uh, passenger ye hai ghar walon ko convince kar diya ye kar diya so suddenly some things will come in your mind something will happen you will have to be ready for that हम लोग छोटी छोटी चीज़ों से परेशान हो जाते हैं लेकिन जब आप लोग बड़ी बड़ी चीज़ों से देखेंगे कि ये हो गया है देन यू विल कम टू नो हाउ टू हैंडल इट एंड दैट एट दैट टाइम योर माइंड शुड बी एब्सोलूटली एट पीस इट शुड नॉट हैव एन एग्जाइटी योर पीसफुल कंपोजिशन इज ए मस्ट जस्ट लाइक बिफोर एन इंटरव्यू बोर्ड दे शुड बी नो पैनिक टू जस्ट रिलैक्स थिंक अबाउट इट solutions will come you just plan 1 2 3 4 4 what have to done something immediate will be done short term some long term some longer term but your thinking process will have to be fully into that direction actually so that is the administration which i classify into this thing and the third quality which i would like to emphasize is the positive bent of mind some persons if you might have seen because uh, ajay singh was telling me and dipali was also telling that you are being giving questions and discussions takes place when in any meeting you feel if you raise a certain question certain suggestion you will find somebody say, no 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 this cannot be done is it a right way to react to a thing no never you should think after that you can give your views and if it is a policy of the government i have to think how can i do it how can i implement it how can i positively incline to that if you think positive your thinking will be absolutely in that direction and the right solution will come if you think negatively this cannot be done your mind will say it cannot never be done if you should if you, i don't know whether you have got a book uh, that uh, mind of the the you know, power of the unconscious mind by murphy it is a very thin book i think i think only 50 60 pages but i think that every person should read it it is not a long book it is only 60 70 pages if it is not in library you get a copy and tell them because your mind uh, i will go a little in the psychology also 
your mind is absolutely logical thing that if you say something if i am saying something some person may be you know feeling ki kya bol rahe hain ye sahi nahi hai koi keh raha hoga sahi hai koi keh raha sahi nahi hai so this gives you cause and effect relationship jo aapka conscious mind hai unconscious mind is absolutely your subordinate whatever idea you will give to your sub subconscious mind that like a servant will implement it your all juices of the body your all systems of the body will try that whatever message has been given to your subconscious mind should work into that direction your body will work in that direction the mind will work in that direction so give direction to your subconscious mind positively never give a negative thought to your subconscious mind that is very powerful book uh, dibali you can ask for that particular book <coughs> and you can read your you can tell them अदर बुक्स आर वेरी बल्कि मोटी हैं वो उनमें दम नहीं है यार मतलब है लेकिन वो बहुत डिटेल्ड है बट दिस आई थिंक कैन बी गिवन टू द चिल्ड्रन एंड दीज पर्सन विल फील दैट वे सो यू ऑलवेज गिव ए वेरी पॉजिटिव थाट टू योर माइंड और आप खुद देखते होंगे अगर आप जब पॉजिटिव थाट अपने दिमाग में देंगे तो पॉजिटिव सोल्यूशन आने शुरू हो जाते हैं एंड इफ यू थिंक यार थोड़ा मुश्किल है करना ये नहीं हो पाएगा तो आपको सारी मुश्किलें देखनी शुरू हो जाएंगी कि नहीं हो पाएगा मैं भी कह सकता हूँ विवाजेंद्र नगर कहाँ जाना है अजय यार बड़ा भीड़ है वहाँ पे बड़ा सारे सिचुएशन हैं बड़ी भीड़ हैं क्या करेंगे चल के वीडियो से कर लेते हैं बात बट आई सेड इट इज आई नेवर लाइक वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसेज आई ऑलवेज लाइक वेरी पर्सनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेज बिकॉज यू कैन सी द पर्सन नोडिंग और डिस नोडिंग और नॉट एग्रींग और एग्रींग एटलीस्ट यू कैन सी दैम और साइड लाइन्स यू कैन टॉक टू दैम सो देयर फॉर योर माइंड विल हैव टू वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव if any ideas coming to you if any ideas being given to you you should think how positively i can do that if it is not possible at least you can convey to the authorities that it is not desirable or it cannot be done i have thought about it the, the the bosses should not have that feeling that you don't want to do that the most important thing is not doing the things or not wanting to do a thing is lot if you say that I don't want to do this. I already feel annoyed. If you say, okay, let me see to it how it is done. हो सकता है पांच काम में चार काम हो जाएं ये काम ना हो पाए. Then nobody will is going to disagree with you. So similarly, if you are answering the questions, if you are giving in positive direction, the board will say he is a positive boy or a girl. And if it is in a negative direction, like I told you when I posed a question. That it is too much, yeah. Twelve hours, twelve hours, twelve hours. Work will be done. Then we give them thousand, five hundred, ten thousand rupees. Work will be done. Yes, sir. That is not what we want. That is not what we want. So think about it and develop a very positive attitude. Because sometimes what happens when you will grow and in the service, sometimes sometimes many people come with small, small problems. Your subordinates, sir, you see, he is running with small, small problems. And sir, you are running with small, small problems. And sir, you are running with small, small problems. And sir, you are running with small, small problems. And sir, you are running आपको लगा हम तो बड़े साहब हैं भाई हम तो उसको प्रॉब्लम कैसे से चलती है बड़े मुस्कराते हुए दैट इज नॉट द वे छोटे आदमी के लिए प्रॉब्लम बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है आई स्टिल रिमेंबर वैन आई वॉज इन ए वेरी स्मॉल सिटी अजमेर एंड देन वन यूज पर्सन यूज टू कम केम टू मी सम हाउ आई यूज टू कीप माई डोर ओपन नॉट क्लोज लाइक मैनी ऑफिसर्स देन एक छोटा सा बेचारा व्यक्ति आया कि सर मेरा पाँच सौ का रिफंड पड़ा हुआ रह गया है और मैं पिछले एक हफ्ते से इस ऑफिस में आ रहा हूँ और मुझे अफसर नहीं सुन रहा ना मुझे रिफंड मिल रहा तो मैंने कहा कि आप आओ मतलब मुझे एक्सपीरियंस कैसे लगा इस चीज का जब वो आया तो मैंने अपने सोडेंट को बुलाया भी इसका रिफंड को नहीं सर ही रोज चलाता है छोटा सा आदमी छोटा रिफंड पाँच सौ रुपये में क्या फर्क पड़ना सर इसको जो पांच बार आ चुका मैंने आप ये देखो कि पांच बार अगर एक आदमी पांच सौ के लिए आपके ऑफिस में आ गया है उसके लिए कितनी बड़ी चीज है ये ये आदमी जाएगा नहीं आज यहाँ से मेरे ऑफिस में बैठेगा और जब तक इसका रिफंड नहीं आएगा मेरे टेबल पे सिट इन माय रूम एंड विल हैव ए कप ऑफ टी आधे घंटे अंदर रिफंड आ गया रिफंड किया और चला आ गया धन्यवाद करता हुआ तो जो आदमी की आप समझते नीचे वाले तो मना कर देते हैं सर क्या है सर छोटा सा मेटर है हम संभाल लेंगे कुछ नहीं संभालेगा कोई आपको भेजा इसीलिए जा रहा है आपको इसीलिए भेजा जा रहा है कि आप एक इंडिपेंडेंट व्यक्ति होके एक छोटे लोगों की परेशानियों को समझ सके और उनको समुचित व्यवस्था कर सकें कि उनको उनका न्याय मिले और जो पावर आपके हाथ में है लॉ की और जो पावर आपके हाथ में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की और जो पावर सरकार ने आपको दी हुई है 
उसमें हमारा ध्येय यही होना चाहिए कि हम किसी की लाइफ को कैसे बेटर कर सकें और वो तभी होगी जब आप पॉजिटिव माइंड से काम करेंगे उसकी बहुत अधिक आवश्यकता है और इसीलिए अपने दिमाग में पॉजिटिव रखिए दैट यू आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्टेड इन द इंटरव्यू नेवर हैव ए डाउट अबाउट इट अपने दिमाग में डाउट भी मत लाना यू आस्क योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी सिलेक्टेड बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट फ्रॉम मी वेन आई वॉज इन इंटरव्यू एन आई एस वाले इंटरव्यू में somehow i was a civil engineer <coughs> so they started with the astronomy then they came to from astronomy to astrology luckily or unluckily i had read astrology quite a lot so do, they did ask me ki do you believe in astrology and what is the difference between astronomy and astrology i still remember so i said i believe in astrology will you believe in astrology you are engineer you believe in astrology and how can venus or a moon which is so distant can affect your life gentlemen what are you talking so i have to explain the concept of astrology to him and in detail <coughs> samajh mein aa gaya jab interview khatam ho gaya kai cheez aur se pooch paanch ke then some of the member asked me hey, mr astrologer you come here yes sir what do you predict about yourself whether you will be selected or not when i never had a doubt i was selected <laughs> so definitely they are they ask posed questions they ask differently they can create humor also they can understand your thinking also ki how negative how positive how this thing so these are the things which you will have to keep with your mind and therefore i am saying you have to be very very positive maybe in any adversity have a positive thinking and then only you will move ahead otherwise it is not possible to go ahead otherwise a lot of obstacles in every area so only when we are positive we can jump over that and you should always think that you can jump and the not the last which is very important quality which every interview board every person thinks about is integrity moral as well as intellectual so you you should be very genuine and having a full integrity in your mind integrity what do you mean by the integrity honesty only no the genuineness yes suppose i am asking a question interviews our board is asking a question from you and if you don't know about it don't try to bluff say i don't know about it don't try to guess because who so ever is sitting there he is quite experienced he has seen life much more than you what is your age you said more than that age in in the government so therefore you can't bluff and interview board recognizes your worth in first 10 minutes by your answers by your communication and remaining 20 minutes is for your satisfaction only in 10% uh, chances the impression changes sometimes better questions or better answers comes or negative answers comes sometimes but in 10 minutes they recognizes you who are you what is your personality whether you are a 40% or 60% of interview 80% how much percentage we have to give and by and large all have very you know unanimous system of understanding it so remaining we always say in the interview board ki hum 10 minute mein to decide ho gaya अब बीस मिनट में तो इसके सेटिस्फेक्शन के लिए क्वेश्चन पूछ लें हम इसको तो हम कहाँ पूछते हैं फिर बैठ के जहाँ जहाँ ये जो इंटीग्रिटी की बात मैं इसलिए कर रहा हूँ कि आपके दिमाग में बिल्कुल ऑनेस्टी से होना चाहिए कि आपका फेवरेट क्वेश्चन क्या है या आपका फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट क्या है आपसे पूछेंगे कौन सा अखबार पढ़ते हैं आप आज पढ़ा पढ़ा कौन सा सब्जेक्ट अच्छा लगा उसमें आज आपको क्या पढ़ा आपने तो नाउ इट इज़ फॉर यू टू गिव द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर फ्रेम इन विच यू कैन हैव मोर क्वेश्चन यू कैन रिप्लाई मोर क्वेश्चन यू डोंट पिक अप ए थिंग विच इन विच यू आर वीक यू शुड पिक अप ए थिंग इन विच यू आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग फ्रॉम ए डी एफ ऑल्सो दे कैन से इफ एनी बडी हैज फील्ड इन ए हॉबी विच इज नॉट एक्चुअली हॉबी देन यू आर गोइंग टू इन ट्रेवल हम शौक में भी लिख देते ना कि तूने क्या लिखा यार तूने क्या लिखा reading reading बड़ा आसान से रीडिंग वॉकिंग ये तो बड़ी कॉमन सी हॉबी कोई लिखता है जिसकी कोई हॉबी नहीं है लिख देगा अपना इमीडिएटली दे लास्ट विच इज द लेटेस्ट बुक विच यू हैव रेड सो वेदर इट इज लेटेस्ट और ओल्ड 
but mention only that book in which you have got a command which you have read it otherwise don't mention it or you can say that i was busy in ias examination so i have not read any book in last one year or one six six month but uh, i intend to read after this but speak only on that topic in which you have got 100% knowledge maybe any topic on the earth even if they are not asking you try to bring the board into that question somehow mention that so that somebody will pick it up and will ask questions so you should find out but this is a, this is a system also that how you can put that particular word in somebody's mouth so that the next question comes into that particular area therefore you should this is an also an art actually because main to puchunga hi puchunga mera man mein aa raha hai jo mujhe free freedom mili hui hai tumse puchne ki main kuch puch sakta hu on the earth but how are you bringing the interview board in your favor and you should be in a position to you know see that which member likes what because wahan har subject ke apne apne experts baithe hue hain और आप लोगों में भी जो है डिफरेंट सर्विस के लोग भी होंगे जो सर्विस में हैं सर्विस से जा रहे हैं तो आपका अपना एक एक स्पेशलाइजेशन एरिया भी है सो यू शुड बी गुड इन समथिंग वेरी गुड इन विच यू कैन स्पीक फ्लॉलेसली आई आई रिमेंबर दैट वन ऑफ अवर इंटरव्यू बोर्ड मेंबर इन इंटरव्यू बोर्ड समबडी आस्क द गर्ल हु इन्फ्लुएंस यू मोर इन योर लाइफ विच इज द बेस्ट इन्फ्लुएंसर ऑन यू इन योर लाइफ समबडी विल मैंशन Prime Minister, somebody will mention. President, somebody will mention. Some hero. That lady said, "My grandmother has influenced me more." Very, very unexpected answer. Then immediately said that, "Why are you saying that? That she has influenced you more?" Then she narrated all qualities and what I have inherited from her. These are my qualities. So ultimately, even the patriotism has been given by her. She was among the freedom fighter movement or other things or something like that. so ultimately she justified that why i am influenced by her then after this the interview board had a discussion that ye to bada ji jawab diya hai but one of the members said at least she is very honest she would have said jawaharlal nehru she would have said mahatma gandhi she would have said something else but she was honest in her you know interview so we should uh, you know appreciate that and we should give it good marks about that she has not you know hypothetical anything so these are the things no no answer is correct or non correct in an interview any answer which you can justify with your reasoning that is a good answer but it should be sync with first two things which i had spoken to you the three things that it should be the government policy it should be the constitutionally expertise it should be with the positive mind it should be with the governance systems that should be in your mind only then this particular thing should overall fit into that picture so your integrity integrity mein they can pose lot of questions actually they give situational questions that you are trapped into this area so that how we are going to do that somebody is saying you take money or i'll kill you somebody is saying i am taking your boy kidnapping your son otherwise you do my work so when you do that work or you allow your child son to be kidnapped so whatever is in your mind it should be absolutely for the government for the public for the governess that has to be sync and this is the role of your mentors who are sitting there so that the remaining one month at least they should put so much hammering in your mind that you cannot think something beyond a governess or the constitution or the government or the common man or the grievous address or something like that so that type of a thinking should be sink right in your mind and whether it is again i have talked talk to you there was a hobby because they start with daf only first of all so the first member who the chairman generally marks you makes it very easy so that to simplify ki aapki ye hobby hai kya aap kar rahi hain is hobby mein kya kiya hai aapne so you should tell me <coughs> so therefore you should be ready with these traits in your life or koi isme doubt hoga tab we will discuss with you that what can be done about it but you should prepare yourself the sun of time and you you think you just forget about your subjects now so relax 
test has been done examination has been done is only your personality test you are going for a dating with the interview board think that way only then you will perform better if you will think that i am going to have some solution problem problem solving things then it will be a difficult situation and be at ease and i would say that that uh, you should i'll conclude it before taking your answers that you will have to think always that you are going to be selected you should have a no fear of failure that is the only thing which kills all of us there should be no fear of failure because you are not going to fail so arise awake and stop not till the goal is achieved swami vivekananda has said it and paul kelo has also said it when you desire something whole universe conspires to help you to achieve that only thing your desire should be strong if you do not desire strongly if you have got doubt about yourself kare maine ye nahi padha ye reh gaya agar ye puch liya to kya hoga kuch nahi pucha kuch nahi pucha kuch bhi nahi hone ja raha aadhe ghante mein kya bata denge hum aadhe ghante mein keval hum wohi bata payenge jo hame aata hai jo abhi tak humne seekha hai aur jo traits humne abhi tak develop kiye hain jo hamare maa baap ne develop kiye hain jo hame sanskar mile hue hain jo humne seekha hai agar kisi ne galat kaam seekh hi liya hai तो वो आज की तारीख में कोशिश भी करे कि मैं गलत काम ना बोल पाऊं वो पकड़ा जाएगा तो यू आर रेडी ऑलरेडी रेडी ओनली थिंग दैट यू हैव टू कीप योर सेल्फ एट ईज यू हैव टू रिमूव योर एनजाइटी ऑल टूगेदर जस्ट गोइंग फॉर ए डेट ऑन ए कैफे कैफे डे इन यूपीएससी धौलपुर हाउस एंड रिलैक्स बट बी ऑनेस्ट टू योर सेल्फ बी ऑनेस्ट टू द बोल्ड एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर यू कैन क्रैक इट इट इज नॉट ए समथिंग विच इज ट्राइंग टू हेरेस यू or is trying to you know diminish you or trying to harass you or not to tell the answers rather they want to ex, you know extract some the good of all of you so wishing all the very best to you and i am very sure that uh, you will be benefited to some extent by this talk and if you have got any doubt i am ready to take your questions also for some time for 10 15 minutes i can take your questions so anybody having any questions okay Hello yeah so first of all it's an honor to interact with you uh, my question is uh, like you said there are some aspirants who are not able to express their views so how much fluency matters in interview like there are people who may fumble little bit while speaking and second question is like if board member is asking something in hindi which is not our medium to communicate so how we should respond to it we should respond in hindi or english so like no if you don't know hindi then you can very well clearly say Okay, sir. I, if you allow me permission, I can explain it better in in English because that is my mother tongue. Yeah, that is my I can express better. But ultimately, it is the expression which is important, not the language. So you can be quite easy. Some somebody may try to pull you up, but it is absolutely material. I can explain better in English, sir. Please give me permission to speak in English. And they will give you because that is the accepted language. They can't say no. Otherwise, there would have been no exam in English, only Hindi. so please don't hesitate only thing your answer should be there you should be able to speak and don't fumble at all because you think before answering it is not that the last minute khatam hua phatafat bolna shuru kar diya let us have a pause yes i am giving the answer you just i am telling you na just feel you are in dating relax then you can give better answer don't jump That you know it, so I am jumping. In the back, I just came and told you no. Or whatever language you choose, you should explain because all other persons are also speaking English and Hindi both, so no problem. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I did my graduation in physics quite a long back, but uh, long long back ago. But recently, I submitted my PhD in international relations. So, how do I? Uh, pull the uh, um, board from my graduation subject to my recent subject no everybody can change the subjects you i am an engineer and working in the income tax department all through my life yes. or later on election commission so you can always tell nobody is going to ask you question that why did you do switch over from physics to international tax international relations altogether because i thought at a later stage that that is my more important forte in which i can work and contribute better So I am contributing. That's why I took that subject. 
because this was question was also asked from me suppose at that time there was no subject like engineering into the examinations and no engineers were selected in 1979 exam first time the engineering subjects were introduced and i was already in indian engineering services a year before so they immediately asked the question that you are an engineer and you are already class 1 engineer you are already faced the upsc you are already there why do you want to come to this service now why are you wasting money of the government which has been wasted on you as to prepare engineer so he said that already you have this year only you thought that engineering subject should be introduced so you wanted person from engineering background therefore i am filling this particular form and i want to come because you want to take the best brain from all services all places all areas it is not only from one stream you want to take a person you want to have a broad based selection so that is why there is no problem maine kaha sare confusion apne andar hai unme nahi hai so don't feel fear why aapne koi na koi soch ke international relation mein kaam kiya so i thought that after a particular time i thought that international relations is the best arena for me so i choose to that to work on that and i worked then they will come only on international relations with you they are not going to ask you physics that is a past forget your ex thank you sir sir thank you person this sir sir yes सर ये इन सब सवालों का सवालों का कैसे जवाब दिया जाएगा जब पूछते हैं ना कि हाँ कि सत्तर सालों में अभी तक वॉशरूम भी सबको नहीं बना मिला है हाँ तो सत्तर साल क्या ये एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का फेलियर रहा है या नहीं तो इस तरह का जब आप बिल्कुल बोल सकते हैं कि देखिए सत्तर साल तक जो हमारी इकोनॉमी रही और जो प्रायोरिटी रही है अभी तक फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी क्या थी पहले अगर आप नाइनटीन में चले जाएँ तो क्या प्रायोरिटी थी उस समय खाना नहीं था लोगों की पढ़ाई नहीं थी तो सबसे पहले खाने का इंतजाम करना था फिर और कुछ चीज़ों का इंतजाम करना था फाइव ईयर प्लान्स वर मेक रेडी सो दैट व्हाट आर द प्रायोरिटीज इन टू द गिवन मनी सपोज योर सैलरी इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड देन यू विल हैव टू प्रायोरिटाइज योर थिंग्स यू कैन नॉट डू एवरी इन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ ए सैलरी सिमिलरली द इनकम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वॉज लिमिटेड एट दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो द प्रायोरिटीज वर डिसाइडेड and according to those priorities industries were made in the first plan green revolution had come second industrial plan had come so we had developed india into different different forums when this government came it was really thought that the even the bathrooms are not there and on the very first meeting it was said that the uh, the toilet should be prepared in all the villages the water should be sent over so this government has put the priority on a different way for together which is really good and it should Continue so that every citizen of this country can feel empowered. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Sir, like I am graduated in twenty eighteen, and since then I am preparing just for civil services. Sir, how to justify that gap of four five years? I said four years. You have not done anything except preparation. Yes, sir. I have not done. So, which, uh, which is this attempt of two, second, third, or fourth? So, fourth attempt. attempt. Third means first interview. Okay, fine. Then you can say that I am determined <laughs> that I wanted to get into civil services. Yes, sir. It is my prime aim, and I am continuously preparing for that. Yes, sir. And that is why I have not done anything else. I don't want to drift from my aim altogether, and I want to put my full energy into this. Yes, sir. You should be very clear about it. ये ये है ना दिमाग में yes, sir. दिमाग में जो है वो ही बोलना है थैंक यू हेलो सर माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट इन बिटवीन इंटरव्यू इफ यू इफ वी से समथिंग रॉन्ग व्हिच मे बी फैक्चुअली रॉन्ग एंड सडनली यू रियलाइज ओके यू हैव डन सम मिस्टेक यस इट हैपेंस और और इफ इट इज वैल्यू इट इज समथिंग रॉन्ग व्हिच इज वैल्यू बेस्ड रॉन्ग बट यू जस्ट इमोशनली और जस्ट सेड इट एंड यू रियलाइज दैट इट्स रॉन्ग or it may be that you have stepped into the area which is not your strong area but it might happen that okay what's the recent book you read but you said the name but now you realize that you don't remember what was the uh, content of that prayer so how do you uh, really correct yourself when you goes into the wrong direction or you said something wrong how do you put uh, the interview in your favor in that in in, in that, that crisis yeah in crisis situation crisis situation yeah. so definitely you can be very honest into that actually that's as i read that book but uh, at the moment i don't remember of this factual positions at all so in last two years because i was completely preparing for the is examination so i have not read the book that i am telling which i told you also and emotionally if you have spoken something 
that is actually which has come out of you interview world will pick it up because that is the thing which you is in your mind other things will be only lepa poti of that particular thing because that is just like a thing that uh, so akbar ne kaha ki bhai this man speaks five languages very frequently so we do not know which is mother tongue तो बीरबल ने कहा कि मैं बताता हूँ उसको कौन सी मदर टेन है सुबह उठा एक थप्पड़ मारा जोर से तो जिस थप्पड़ के बाद जो जवाब दिया उसने उन्होंने दैट इज इज मदर टंग बिकॉज ही डिड नॉट हैव एनी टाइम टू थिंक अबाउट इट सो दैट दे कैन पिक अप बिकॉज दैट इज द थिंग विच यू हैव स्पोकन इमोशनली बट दैट वॉज करेक्ट सो उसको करेक्ट करने का जो मौका है वो कम है हालांकि यू कैन स्पीक समथिंग डिफरेंटली but as a board member i will say that it is in her mind now she is putting into the manufactured version of the answer of that question but nevertheless if something of that sense is again asked you in a further questioning if the question is being continued because something out of that then you can correct yourself ki sir i was thinking that way but in my opinion after i think about it and after listening you this is the position rightly which i should follow you can correct the position if that question is continuing because something the question is asked from another question once you have reply i will again ask a question out, out of that in that you can say if that i have realized it is wrong sometimes persons have done it because immediately they responded to something differently but when we ask them okay is it okay you think about it again then she has come out can no I was wrong. This is the right way of telling it. Uh, sir, how do the interviewers um, interpret it when we switch our answers in between interview? Okay, sir, I just realized. I just realized that it's not like that, and it's, it's like no. It, one can be flexible, but you should support your answer with reasoning. It is not never. Nobody would like a stubborn. Nobody would like rigidity. You should. If you have given a wrong reply, I will not continue with that. I will not rigid on that. I can change it. मैनी पर्सन फील कर दो हमने जो बोल दिया वो बोल दिया इतना गलत हो जाता है डायरेक्शन चले गए इफ आई हैव टू कम ऑन शंकर रोड इफ आई मूव टूवर्ड साउथ एक्सटेंशन आई विल नेवर बी एबल टू कम टू शंकर रोड एटलीस्ट आई शुड से आई हैव गॉन रॉन्ग आफ्टर गोइंग हाफ ए किलोमीटर आई विल टर्न माई कार एंड आई कम बैक टू शंकर रोड सो दैट यू शुड फॉलो आई हैव सीन मैनी पर्सन इन द पी एस सी बी बोर्ड ऑल्सो द ज्वाइंट मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर हु वॉज गोइंग टू डायरेक्ट मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ही वेंट सो रॉन्ग अल्टीमेटली ही रिट्रीव की जी बस अब मैं नहीं जवाब दे सकता खत्म so it is never uh, you know late to think ki galat chala gaya theek hai i am coming back bilkul galat to nahi jayenge na hum 5 10 number kaam kar loge lekin hame 30 degree 30% nahi daloge aap kyunki baaki aap se puche jayenge aap so it, we are not deciding on one question that is very clear the interview board gives you more chances to speak if some there is something negative you will again ask the question so that somewhere you can come in the positive direction no board says that uh, let her go with a negative mindset and dissatisfied no somebody will definitely ask you something when you can come to the positive and if you can come positive and counter questioning is also not the way of answering sometimes many candidate ask the question to the board hmm. ki are ye nahi hua sir to ye to hua tha na sab us zamane mein fir kaise ho gaya are ye kaise immediately mam said counter way questioning is no way of answering i am asking you but you can retrieve when you have gone wrong hmm. there's no harm in it many persons will say she is honest she has gone wrong she has come on the right track there's no problem rigidity means only that you are stubborn you cannot be cured hmm. why do we take the youngsters for this service you tell me such a important responsibility is being given of 24 25 26 years age because you are moldable your attitude can be changed you can fit into the direction of the governess if we take a person of the age of 35 it is difficult to change the attitude of a person attitude hardening starts at age of 33 there why that is why we take youngsters into the services that they can be molded right at this age give a good governess to this country So therefore, there is no problem. Don't feel hesitant, um, sir. If the interviewer is sir, where are you? Saying, yes. Mm. <laughs> if the interviewer uh, is pointing out or saying that you are wrong or you are inaccurate, if 
they are saying so do we have to stand by what we were saying or we can be like okay sir like we get intimidated by that fact that you are inaccurate and if the interview if is you, saying again i am telling you that if you have given your proper reasoning if you have just put a guess and then you are stubborn then it is you are gone but if you have got some substantiation with you that this is a particular person where i have read it or which i feel that way then you can say okay sir this is right but you can also guide me which is the right thing this is not a counter questioning then you can ask okay sir what is the right thing kindly let me know then it will show your honesty and your clarity about the things but whatever you speak should have something to substantiate that you cannot say ki no no maine suna tha sir kai ye aisa hota hai are ye kya sir ye kya kaun si baat hui aisa hota hai suna tha maine kai ye to nahi hoti baat हेलो सर सर एक्चुअली मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि जो सॉफ्ट स्किल है सॉफ्ट स्किल में कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाता है सेल्फ स्टीम आ जाती है तो ये सबको कैसे बुस्टअप किया जाए कभी कभी होता है क्या मतलब कोई क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हैं लेकिन जानते हुए भी माइंड में एक ब्लैंक स्पॉट आ जाती है मतलब आंसर नहीं कर पाते तो इसको कैसे बुस्टअप किया जाए नहीं जानते हैं और हम नहीं बता पा रहे हैं या जानते थे और ब्लैंक स्पॉट उस समय आ गया या या बिकॉज ऑफ लेस ऑफ सेल्फ सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं देखिए सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस तो आपको डेवलप करना पड़ेगा जैसे मैंने अभी आपके आपको बताया कि आप सबकॉन्शियस माइंड को अपने लगातार फिट कीजिए कि आई एम राइट आई हैव गॉट कॉन्फिडेंस आई हैव टू रिप्लाई ऑल क्वेश्चंस करेक्टली यू स्पीक टू योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड यू विल डेवलप कॉन्फिडेंस योर सेल्फ विद इन टेन डेज डोंट फील फियर हमें फेयर क्यों है हमें फियर है फेलियोर का ठीक है हमें फेलियर का फियर है क्या नहीं आए तो क्या होगा तो उस फियर को इतना ज्यादा अपन ऊपर चढ़ा लें कि हम फेल हो जाएं उसका तो फायदा नहीं है उस फियर को तो दूर करना है दैट वाई आई एम टेलिंग दैट यू जस्ट फील दैट यू आर हैविंग गुड कॉफी इन सी सी डे और स्टार बक्स इन यू धौलपुर हाउस यूपीएससी शांजा रोड दैट वे यू शुड थिंक और उस कॉन्फिडेंस को आप धीरे धीरे अपने पियर के साथ बढ़ाइए अकेले इंटरव्यू जहाँ पर ये मॉक इंटरव्यू करवा रहे हैं आपके जितनी फैकल्टी मेंबर्स हैं उसमें ज़्यादा पार्टिसिपेट करिए और जो टॉपिक आप समझते हैं कि जो आप कहीं भूल जाते हैं अटक जाते हैं उस टॉपिक को बार बार बोलिए रिपीटेशन ऑलवेज गिव्स यू ए गुड मेमोरी और जितने कंटेम्प्रेरी सब्जेक्ट्स हैं ये ये और बताना चाहता हूँ आपको मैं जितने कंटेम्प्रेरी सब्जेक्ट चल रहे हैं योर स्टडी शुड भी थॉरो ऑन दैट दे आर फॉर यूनिवर्सल अफेक्ट एनी बडी कैन आस्क यू वट आर दंटेम्प्रेरी सब्जेक्ट विच चल रहे हैं कि वेदर द जजेस शुड बी अपॉइंटेड बाई द एग्जीक्यूटिव और नॉट और द कॉलेजियम सिस्टम शुड बी देयर और इट शुड गो टू द एग्जीक्यूटिव वेदर द इंस्टीट्यूशन हैव बीन कंप्रोमाइज बाई द गवर्नमेंट और नो हाउ आर द थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग वे हाउ कैन वी गो टू फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी इन दिस कंट्री how what are your suggestions for improving the uh, this particular uh, you know infrastructure in this country unemployment is a problem how the government is not solving can you solve it how skilling should be done so the contemporary subjects anything which is coming china and uh, relations international relations when you are talking immediately the china and american relations and our country relations will come g20 what is the role of g20 how we are going to help it how the presidency will help us so these contemporary questions should be thoroughly prepared from all angles they may put you there you may put you there but you should be very straight what is my answer what i feel about it and you repeat those questions so that whenever it is a strike in your mind you can immediately speak and don't fumble on the language part if anybody is asking in english let him ask in english you speak in hindi aadhe se zyada problem tab hoti hai jab hum apne vicharon ko pehle translate karte hain phir translate karke phir wo vichara dobara aata hai phir wo bolte hain phir agla sochte hain phir agla translate karte hain so mind is working twice and nobody can stop you if you are speaking in hindi तो डोंट बिल्कुल भी घबराइए मत आप हिंदी में बोलते हैं तो हिंदी बोलिए बिल्कुल जैसी भाषा में बोलते हैं वैसी भाषा में बोलिए लेकिन अपनी चीजों को जरूर बताइए और चीजें जो बताना चाहते हैं आप वो इसमें इंटरबोबिन होनी चाहिए जो मैंने आपको शुरू के चार चीजें बताई हैं उसमें उसको फिट करिए कहीं 
उसमें उसको कहीं ना कहीं से लाइए सो दैट इंटरव्यू बोर्ड कैन से क्यों नो दिस बॉय हैज गॉट लीडरशिप क्वालिटी दिस बॉय हैज गॉट वेरी गुड गवर्नेंस सिस्टम पॉजिटिव माइंड का बंदा है काम करेगा कमिटमेंट रहेगा जॉब के लिए इसका ये इंटरव्यू बोर्ड के दिमाग में आना चाहिए तो बिल्कुल भी आप इस चीज से परेशान ना हो ऐसे ऐसे बच्चों के इंटरव्यू लिए हैं जो पहली बार ट्रेन में आए हैं ऐसे ऐसे गांव से वो बच्चा जो दिल्ली में या कहीं पे पहुंचता है पहली बार उसको तो समझ नहीं आएगा कहां पहुंचा वो क्या बोलेगा वो लेकिन हमारा पर्पस ये नहीं है किसी भी बोर्ड का पर्पस कि उसको उसके आधार पर खत्म कर दिया जाए कुछ तो पॉजिटिव पॉइंट होंगे उसमें जो सेकेंड एग्जाम तक क्रॉस करके आया है बच्चा ये तो है नहीं कि सेकेंड एग्जाम ऐसे क्रॉस हो गया उसके ऊपर एंड वी आर सीन दैट पर्सन मतलब मैं मैंने आई वॉज इन द बोर्ड ऑफ राजस्थान एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस आई फाउंड वन गर्ल शी वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम वेरी डिस्टेंस विलेज एंड शी सेट कि सर मैं तो पहली बार जयपुर आई हुई हूँ मुझे कोई से पूछा कि बड़े बड़े भी कुछ बहुत बहुत सारे लोग बैठे होते हैं इंटरव्यू बोर्ड में हर तरह के लोग बैठे हैं कुछ एरिस्टोक्रेटिक भी लोग बैठते ही हैं कि तो फिर वो शहर के बारे में पूछने लगे उन्होंने कहा जी मैंने तो आज तक जयपुर देखा ही नहीं मैं तो उस गांव के रहने वाली हूँ उस गांव में हमारा कॉलेज है उस गांव के कॉलेज से मैंने अपना बीए कर लिया उसके बाद मेरा सिलेक्शन हो गया मैं यहाँ पर आई हूँ पहली बार मैं घर से बाहर निकली हूँ और मेरे चाचा जी लाए हैं मेरे फादर तो ला नहीं सकते थे मुझे क्योंकि उन्होंने भी नहीं देखा है तो क्या उस बच्ची को हम छोड़ देंगे इफ शी इज राइट शी हैज गिवन कम्प्लीट गुड आंसर ऑफ एवरी थिंग वट एवर शी न्यू अबाउट इट I cannot ask her something which is absolutely beyond uh, imagination. But whatever she knew, she had applied so well about her village, about her village economy, about her uh, systems of that particular area. Why we should not select? We should select. So don't feel fear. Don't feel inferiority. Don't have a fear of failure. Only thing between your dreams. and not fulfilling the dreams is the motive to avoid fear of failure there are two motives ek to hota hai sense of achievement motive to achieve certain thing that is a positive attitude when your positive juices will come from the body ek hai avoidance of failure is a negative you start feeling negative so don't develop this particular motive develop sense of achievement as a motive and you will very positive you says to yourself i am i am basing it absolutely on psychological process or psychological thoughts about it both are motive reaching to same place sense of achievement motive to achieve yeah. that is a positive avoidance of failure mai ghabda raha hu fail na ho jaau fail na ho jaau that is a negative forget about it theek hai yes thank you sir rob se ja ke jana interview घबराना मत कहा के रहने वाले हो सर बिहार से बिहार से हो बिहार से ज्यादा लग लोग आते हैं तुम क्यों घबराए हुए हो जवाब दो अपनी भाषा में दो अपने हिसाब से दो थैंक यू सर हेलो सर यस वेर आर यू यस सर अगर बहुत बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि कोई क्वेश्चन पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट और गवर्नेंस इशू गवर्नेंस इशू पे आता है है ना तो हर एक स्टूडेंट या कोई भी इंडिविजुअल जो है कोई ना कोई पॉलिटिकल आइडियोलॉजी से रिलेटेड होता है यस yes. हाँ तो उस समय कैसे मतलब अपना न्यूट्रलिटी मेंटेन करें यू हैव टू बी न्यूट्रल और यू हैव टू बी न्यूट्रल आई एम टेलिंग यू आई एम इलेक्शन कमिश्नर चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ऑफ इंडिया ऑल पोलिटिकल पार्टी कम्स टू अस फाइन आई ऑल्सो कास्ट माई वोट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑल्सो कास्ट हज वोट both are neutral person but still we are casting vote to some party not to all the parties i can cast the vote that is invalid vote fine so even in sight of having some political ideology you have to be neutral you have to give justice to everyone so your answer should be as a neutral government officer you cannot side a party a or a party b but you should be neutral in the light of the constitution what is written so your answer is only the constitutional support you should take and give the answer don't sway in the emotions yes are uh, these days many persons are swaying in emotions yes many whatsapp library chhod do whatsapp library i think 80% are motivated you know towards one area or the other so just forget about it be very neutral be on the constitutional thing that should you should keep in mind because wahan panch log baithe hain panchon ki ideology alag alag hai aur ye sare ke sare senior bureaucrat hain jo kab paida hue the 
हमारी उम्र के yes. ठीक है उनकी आइडियोलॉजी कुछ और होगी आज की आइडियोलॉजी कुछ और हो चुकी है तो आप इस झगड़े में बिल्कुल भी ना पड़े कि मैं साइड करता हूँ ए को या मैं साइड करता हूँ बी को या मैं साइड करता हूँ सी को यू शुड बी एन वेरी इम्पार्शल जज ऑफ द थिंग्स वाट आर द इक्वलिटी फेटर्निटी एंड जो मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ वो उसके जो प्रियम बिल है वो चारों दिमाग में बिठा लीजिएगा आपने और उसको उस पैमाने से सोच के जवाब दीजिए कि माय कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से दिस एंड आई विल हैव टू एक्ट लाइक दिस वेरी क्लियर सिक्यूलियर है हम सिक्यूलियर है अदरवाइज इफ यू आर पोस्टेड टू ए प्लेस वेयर दिस एब्सोल्युटली इंबैलेंस इन टू द रिलीजन व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डू आर यू गोइंग टू क्रम्बल द होल प्लेस और यू विल क्रम्बल योर दिस इज नॉट डन जो आपके सामने आता है वो एक क्लीन चिट है एडमिशन क्या कहता है कंस्टिट्यूशन क्या कहता है दिस इज द टाइम जहां बहुत पॉलिटिकल अफसर हुआ है जहां बहुत रिलीजन के ऊपर चीजें चल रही हैं एंड मैनी पर्सन विल ट्राई टू ट्रैप यू इनटू दैट इन इंटरव्यू बोर्ड सो हेयर ओनली द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विल कम टू योर हेल्प एंड यू शुड गिव योर रिप्लाई एज पर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रियम्बल फॉर गेट अबाउट अदर थिंग्स कीप योर सेल्फ एज दैट गर्ल हैज स्पोकिन द इमोशन से मत हो इमोशंस में कोई जवाब मत देना जस्ट रिलैक्स योर सेल्फ इमोशन कुछ चीज नहीं है इस मामले में वी हैव टू बी वेरी फैक्ट हमें अपनी पर्सनैलिटी भूलनी पड़ती है हमें कई बार मतलब आई कैन शेयर इन दिस हाउस दैट समाइम्स घर में विरोध हो जाता है क्योंकि यू वील लाइक टू शेयर न्यूट्रल वेन अदर पर्सन हैव गॉट सर्टन फीलिंग्स टू बट समी रिलीजन ए रिलीजन बी रिलीजन सी You will say no. I am not a part of this discussion, even at the dinner table. So stop it. So therefore, you will have to, as a government officer, or would be a government officer, your reply should be absolutely neutral. You will have to have that particular sense, at least develop that for this month, so that your reply should not be coloured by any such things which can vitiate your interview process. सर कैन वी क्रिटिसाइज गवर्नमेंट इन इंटरव्यू और वी शुड से सिर्फ पॉजिटिव थिंग्स अबाउट गवर्नमेंट मोस्टली पॉजिटिव ओके मतलब जैसे आजकल कुछ एम पी भड़काऊ भाषण देते हैं आप एम पी नहीं है तो उस पर बोल सकते हैं कि नहीं देखिए मैंने क्या कहता है आपको आप गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट है आप बनने जा रहे हैं कि आप गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट ठीक है हम अफसर तो बोलते हैं लेकिन हर कंडक्ट रूल में लिखा है गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट सो वी विल हैव टू बी अलाइन विद द गवर्नमेंट वी विल हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट द गवर्नमेंट Okay. ऐसी कौन सी चीज है जो गलत हो रही है वो पहले तो वो बताएं आप एक आधी दिमाग में आपके आती हो सो लेट अस थिंक अबाउट इट देखिए अगर आप पांच अखबार पढ़ते हैं सुबह पांच अखबार हैं जो यहाँ फेमस आते हैं सुबह टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया आ गया हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स आ गया इंडियन एक्सप्रेस आ गया हिंदू आ गया इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स जो इसको इकोनॉमिक्स का शौक है ये पांच पेपर हमारे मेरे घर पे आते हैं सुबह मैं देखता हूँ एक ही चीज को डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कलर से दिखाया जाता है कोई उसको बहुत छोटी न्यूज में साथ में पन्ने पे देगा कोई फ्रंट पेज में बोल्ड पे देगा दैट इज द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ दैट पेपर यस सो शुड बी गवर्न बाय दैट वन पेपर वेदर दैट पेपर इज ऑनेस्ट वेदर दैट मीडिया इज ऑनेस्ट दैट इज आल्सो विद सम वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट समवेयर सो यू शुड एनालाइज योर थिंग्स यू शुड नॉट कलर योर थॉट्स With the paper colors, which they give on front page, certain negative news also. You should analyze those things yourself. So you should try as far as possible because generally I found कि मतलब मैं भी examine करता हूँ कि भाई कौन कौन सी चीज कौन से page पे चली गई कौन सी अखबार में चली गई कैसे चली गई तो generally जो paper पढ़ते हैं यहाँ पे सारे लोग मेरे ख्याल से Hindu और Indian Express पढ़ते हैं ज़्यादा लेकिन टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया भी थोड़ा पढ़ना चाहिए इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स भी पढ़ना चाहिए क्योंकि इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स आल्सो इज वेरी बैलेंस्ड न्यूज एंड दैट आल्सो शोज इकोनॉमिक्स एज वेल एज द पॉलिटिक्स रेदर उसमें सबसे कम अपभ्रंश होता है न्यूज का क्योंकि एक ही पेज पे धनी होती है तो हेडलाइंस आ जाएंगी सारी की सारी तो अपने आप को कलर मत करो जो हिंदू इसलिए पढ़ा जाता है कि हिंदू के पहले जो आर्टिकल्स आया करते थे बड़े अच्छे आते थे जो सेंट्रल स्प्रेड पर आते थे अब वो क्वालिटी नहीं आ रही है तो यू शुड नॉट कलर योर सेल्फ विद दिस थिंग कि गवर्नमेंट ने क्या कर दिया ये तो होना नहीं चाहिए तो हमारे कंस्टिट्यूशन में लिखा है क्या कर दिया इस तरह से हमें नहीं करना सर ये तो होना ही नहीं चाहिए आई थिंक यू हैव लॉस्ट सर्टेन मार्क्स आउट ऑफ इंटरव्यू 
so try to be sync with the government you are going to join a government it is not that you are not joining tumhare ghar pe bhi agar ek servant hoga aur tumhare hisab se khana nahi banayega tum teen din baad nikal doge usko kya karoge kya hum to vegetarian aadmi hai tum ke meat le aaye ghar mein ya main non vegetarian aadmi hu to tum ghar mein lauki ko khilate ho that may be very good for health but why are you bringing it i don't want it so try to sync try to find out the ideology which is suitable to the government because you are joining the government thank you sir uh, do they really like to select candidate having 28 or 29 year of age why not because they have not reduced the age you are as per the their standard um, procedure jo bhi age aapki hai jis age mein qualify kar rahe hain usko select karte hain age ka koi aisi problem nahi hai 33 mere hamare batch mein 10 saal ka difference tha mere mein aur sabse oldies mein 10 saal ka difference i am 57 born he was 47 born you used to call him daddy <laughs> सो so, एज के आधार पे कोई असर नहीं होता एज कलर सेक्स इसके आधार पे किसी का ना सिलेक्शन होता है ना सिलेक्शन डिसेमिनेट किया जाता है तो so, इसलिए एज की कोई चिंता नहीं है जितने सिलेक्शन जितने चांस आप हमें दे रहे हो जो एज में दे रहे हो उसी एज में आ रहे हैं हम आई कैन नॉट फेब्रिकेट माई एज टू कम इन टू दिस थिंग तो वो आप बिल्कुल चिंता ना करें गवर्नमेंट के पास इसका सोल्यूशन है थैंक यू सर there is always a dilemma sir while filling the hobbies because everyone has no hobbies kab kya karna hai kisi ko dekh ke playing cricket or reading karna hai aur gap chhod dena hai gap chhod dena hai okay wo maine pehle bola maine ki ye nahi kisi se pucha hame tumhari hobby kya hai kya likh de tune ke likha yaar maine bhi likh diya main kuch nahi janta uske bare mein it is better they can ask you don't have any hobby yes i don't have any hobby at the moment then how to justify that sir how to justify that i i work i main puri zindagi padhai karta raha ji ठीक है पढ़ना इज ऑल्सो हॉबी इफ आई एम टोटली डिवोटेड टू माई सेल्फ फॉर माई स्टडीज आई हैव डन माई स्टडीज वेल आफ्टर दैट आई विल डेवलप माई हॉबीज आई एंजॉय माई कैरिकुलम आई एंजॉय माई सब्जेक्ट आई एंजॉय माई स्कूल आई एंजॉय माई कॉलेज भाई हॉबी की जरूरत क्यों पड़ती है वाई डू वी रिक्वायर हॉबीज बिकॉज एक बार हम जब बहुत टफ कैरिकुलम में पढ़ लिए परेशान हो गए तो लगता है एक पुराना म्यूजिक सुनते हैं कुछ अच्छा मोहम्मद रफी के गाने आ रहे हैं तो भी गाने सुनने का बड़ा शौक है बड़ी हॉबी है या कुछ हम पे टाइम मिला हुआ है आज पढ़ाई नहीं करनी है तो फोटोग्राफी कर ली गार्डनिंग कर ली रीडिंग कर ली रीडिंग तो जनरली लोगों की हॉबी हो जाती है या एम कोई खेल खेल लिया चाहे चेस खेला चाहे कैरम खेला चाहे टी खेला कॉलेज में घर पर स्कूल में लेकिन एज सच अगर हॉबी नहीं है तो डू डोंट राइट हॉबी देखें सिंपली आज क्यों हाउ डू पास योर टाइम खाली टाइम यही तो है खाली टाइम में मैं क्या करता हूँ तो जो खाली टाइम में करता हूँ वो बता दीजिए मुझे बाय चांस किसी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज में था मैं वहाँ पर भी इंटरव्यू होते थे तो आई वाज ऑफ योर एज में क्या बी वी फोर्थ ईयर में इंटरव्यू होते हैं तो मुझसे पूछा कि क्या हॉबी है आई थॉट कि यहाँ तो कोई नंबर वंबर नहीं है सो आई थॉट कि डे ड्रीमिंग प्रोफेसर वाज ही सरप्राइज कि दिस इज ए वट ऑफ योर हॉबी यू गॉट वॉट यू डे ड्रीम then i told him that why do i day dream what i think what i want to become and uh, how can i become so that is the thinking that i do it so hobby as such ki jo structured hobby hai agar maine structured hobby mein likhi thi i was trapped into interview i wrote photography i was a photographer i had doubled photography in ludki myself i was a club member of that club i had doubled photo i put an exhibition ground but they asked something you know very different in photography what is creative photography where the last exhibition held in the world on this subject and who was the organizer of that particular exhibition so i don't know because i am not into that creative photography i told him i am in a very simple photography i just want to enjoy my leisure time i don't want to make it science i don't want to make it hard because i want to get away from the hard work of studies to enjoy my hobby time so what is gives me enjoyment i do that much only so if you have not written have you written wrongly then it is a problem have you written <laughs> that is fine so there is no problem i enjoy my daily chorus jo bhi hai main padhai karta hu apne baith ke i am i am my first goal is to become a civil servant so my whole time is totally devoted to that usme kya dikkat hai I enjoy my my work. Uh, thank you, sir. 
माई क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रन प्रोसेस इन इंडिया इलेक्शन प्रोसेस इन इंडिया वॉट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ नोटो ऑप्शन एज फॉर नाउ वी हैव नॉट सीन एनी मच कंक्लूजन मतलब कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट वन पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन बट आई थिंक दैट इज अ वेरी मतलब प्रोग्रेसिव ऑप्शन दैट कम्स इन द इलेक्शन ऑफ इंडिया एक्चुअली देर आर टू वेज ऑफ आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन एज आई थिंक इज देर एनी नीड फॉर नोटा बिकॉज वोट इज बींग कास्टेड to elect a person it is not to discard the person even if you have put a nota the person has been selected rather your vote has gone waste because the percentage of nota is very small only in uh, recent elections we have found that in certain villages the nota numbers were more but i feel that this voting process if you have been given a franchise right right from beginning of 1947 you should choose a person and you should he should be accountable to you why there should be nota none of the above to hum ghar ja rahe hain vote dalne kyun aaye the rather you have lost the right matlab as a person i don't believe into that theory therefore that is why i have never interested in nota's development at all if everybody says nota so so what that post will remain vacant again election will be held suppose 100% persons write nota what will happen election dobara hoga so nobody has been chosen and 5 persons right yes mr x 95 persons said nota 5 persons selection ho jayega uska to aapka to bekar ho gaya exercise so there should be no nota why there should be nota but as election commission it has been put earlier it was thought that the candidates will think that uh, we are no we are nobody is interested in us as such in this government in this country the turnover is around 67% so 33% persons are not casting their vote they are already having a nota so at least the persons who are going to cast their vote they should exercise the right correctly there should be some ideology some political ideology should be there how can we away from the political ideology after all this is democracy this is the biggest democracy in the world and this right has been given to all right on the day of you know independence in this country which has not been given to ladies in usa in canada in uk for a longer time and we have given adult franchise on the very first day itself so we should utilize this right and there should be no question of nota do you agree or not no yes sir i agree hmm. i agree isliye pooch raha hu main aapse ki aap agree hui nahi nahi to aur aage iska explain kiya jaye nahi nahi i agree kyunki hame hame select karne ka chance diya gaya hai हमें रिजेक्ट करने का चांस कहाँ दिया है थर्टी थ्री परसेंट तो वैसे घर बैठे हुए हैं और अर्बन एपे थी जहां पर साउथ दिल्ली और साउथ बॉम्बे का टर्न आउट कितना होगा फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट आर सिटिंग एट होम दे आर नॉट कास्टिंग देर वोट इन दू दीज कंस्टिट्यूएंसीज विच आर सपोज टू बी वेरी अलीट विच आर कमिंग ऑन टीवी विच आर ऑन द न्यूज पेपर विच यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ दैट दे आर कमिंग दे आर नेवर देव नेवर कास्ट द वोट सिटिंग एट होम सुबह टीवी पे चले गए बोलाए किसी के मन में हमें क्या फर्क पड़ता है सो so, अगर अर्बन एपे थी सो मच आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इन साउथ बॉम्बे फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इन साउथ दिल्ली विलेज इज नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट नाइन्टी परसेंट दैट क्लियरली शोज दे हैव गॉट द ट्रबल दे वॉन्ट गवर्नमेंट टू वर्क दे वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ देयर चॉइस हेयर दे डोंट वॉन्ट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट दे फील हमारे घर में बिजली नहीं है तो क्या जनरेटर लगा लेंगे पानी नहीं है तो नीचे से मंगवा लेंगे ये यार काम नहीं हो सकता सड़क सड़क साफ नहीं हो सकती तो दो आदमी अपने लगा देंगे सो देट इज वाई दे आर सिटिंग होम एंड क्रिटिसाइजिंग द गवर्नमेंट ऑन द टी वी और ऑन द पेपर्स साउथ बॉम्बे जहाँ सारे के सारे मीडिया हेड सारे के सारे इंडस्ट्रियल हेड वैन आई वॉज लिविंग इन दैट ब्रीज कैंडी रोड इन बॉम्बे सो वहाँ पर कोई इलेक्शन शुरू एम एल ए का इलेक्शन था शायद उस समय आई वॉज इन इनकम टैक्स तो माई वाइफ सेट के लेटर्स कास्ट द वोट नैन के लेटर्स गो टू द टाइम वैन देर शुड बी नो क्राउड बट हम गए दोपहर में देखा कि दरअसल हार लिया नहीं बड़ी उन्होंने कहा जाइए वोट दे दीजिए मैंने दिस नो क्यू बोले नो क्यू तो अगले दिन जब पेपर में पढ़ा तो देखा 45 फाइव परसेंट इज द वोटिंग परसेंटेज इन साउथ बॉम्बे तो अगर इतनी अपैति है तो नोटा हैज गॉट नो सब पर्पज एस एल इट हज नॉट सब द पर्पज आई थिंक द इलेक्शन कमीशन विल हैव टू थिंक इट अगेन वेदर दिस शुड हैव दिस चॉइस एट ऑल और नॉट अदरवाइज वी आर पुटिंग वन सॉकेट ऑफ ई वी एम ऑन नोटा यस सर थैंक यू हेलो सर हाँ यस सर जब हम 
प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट करते हैं क्या चीज प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट करते हैं उस टाइम से ही पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट पे कैसे काम कर सकते हैं मतलब अब से स्टार्ट करते हैं या पहले जब प्रिलिम से प्रिलिम से स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं या सोचते हैं जब से स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं प्रिलिम से स्टार्ट करते हैं उस टाइम से ही तो उस टाइम से जो मैंने आपको पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट बताए कि हाउ शुड बी सिंक इन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन हाउ कैन बी पॉजिटिव हाउ कैन वी हैव ए गवर्नेस इन अवर माइंड हाउ कैन वी हैव डेवलप ए लीडरशिप क्वालिटीज इन अवर माइंड हाउ कैन वी हैव ए डेवलप ए इंटीग्रिटी इन अवर माइंड सो दो स्ट्रेट्स विल हैव टू स्टार्ट राइट फ्रॉम देयर then you talk to your peers who are all preparing the same examination then you should uh, discuss these things with them and that will come only when you will read the government policies you will see the diversity in this country ki yahan par to itne garib log hain aur yahan par itne ameer log hain aur yahan par inko pani bhi nahi hai aur yahan par avion ki botal pi jati hai so there is a difference and how can i you know bridge this gap it is not that i am against them the upliftment of this level has to be up or how the wealth has to be distributed so you should think in your direction in do that particular area right from that particular point of time only then you will come into sync with the government then your attitude will be developed towards that the development of the country you have to think in 140 crore logon ko mera decision affect karega जिस दिन ये सोच लोगे आप कि आपका डिसीजन अफेक्ट करता है 140 तो करोड़ लोगों को आई थिंक योर माइंड सेट विल ऑटोमेटिकली चेंज ओके 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 सर थैंक यू